Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld. We have uh, an Empire raid, a uh, Siege. So Asha and Bell are in position here. Uh, we're set to hold fire. We also have this going on up here. Uh, just kind of been letting that like sit there while we do things around the base. Um, moving power down here since this these like weren't really planned as like having power uh but being part of our defenses so we're kind of like making that transformation um and a couple things before we get to this raid um harlock oh my god i keep i made a list <laughs> like here's the thing um harlock has been harlock jr or sorry harlock jr yeah um for for a while um and in the comments i think ven recommended that um, or noted that Wookiees are typically named after their fathers. So um, combining Armella and Harlock's name to get Arlock, um, I think is really adorable. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so he finally has a name. Uh, and the other thing, uh, we've been having, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or I'm just being impatient, but we haven't been able to do any of the Oh God, what are they called? They're, um, the Lysandra, come, come contact the deserters for me. Oh wait, where did it go? <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, so maybe I broke some things. Uh, we're going to figure this out. It doesn't look like we're part of the deserter network. Um, and part of that might be that I am testing out a couple new mods that just like dropped. Uh, so let's like pop over and take a look at that. So um, we have the Imperial Remnant mod or we started out with it and it changed the Empire faction to kind of utilize uh, Outer Rim stuff, make them Imperial themed. But two new mods dropped. Uh, Star Wars retheme for VFE Empire. It does require Outer Rim. Um, so it is using Outer Rim assets to kind of like reskin the Empire. Uh, it does it a little bit more comprehensively. Um, so the Great Hierarchy, which is not something that we'll see since we're not playing on the Empire side, is redone. Uh, nobles, um, that's something that the Galactic uh, the Remnant faction did do. Um, kind of like retitling everyone to sergeants and, you know, military titles instead of the noble titles. Um, this is something that the other mod did do, retheming most of the Empire Pawns. That's something the other mod did do. Uh, and so, it, like, the permits, if we called down, like, a Stormtrooper squad, like, we'd get that. Um, and it looks like this adds new permits. So this is something we'll have to like explore in like an Empire playthrough. And then something that this mod does that the other one doesn't do is uh, replacing the shuttle with the Lambda shuttle. Um, so yeah, just a couple additional changes there. And then the Star Wars retheme of the Deserters mod adds, um, adds some new theming. So retheming of the Deserters faction into Rebels. Uh, so any Deserters we come across should be Rebels instead. Uh, da da da, rebel commandos for deserters, retheming the plots. Oh, that's the thing. We couldn't get the plots working, so I'm gonna have to do some debugging. I might like this. Uh, wait, today is Wednesday, so this will this will premiere on Thursday. Friday, I might try and like record a couple episodes ahead so that Saturday or Sunday I might be able to try and do some debugging. Um. Worst case scenario, I installed character editor. Um, so maybe we just like pick all these guys up, start with a fresh, fresh, um, fresh run. And I'll just like manually build these things to catch us up. And we'll pretend like that never happened uh, to see if we can get the deserter plots to start working. The quests and services, all that other stuff has been fine. 
Um, adding Star Wars equipment to the contraband system, replacing deserter shuttle with the U-Wing, and replacing aerodrones with TIE fighters. And we do have Mad Men Star Wars ships. So um, those are some changes that we might see the next couple days. And then sometime this weekend, I'll try and get like the plots working or I'll figure out what I'm doing to not be able to trigger plots or whatever. Um, anyhow, we're going to get... I kind of want to see these guys get set up. Um, but I also don't want them mortaring my base. So we are we are going to start firing on them uh, right about... I don't want to pick a target. I want it to be close to this. So let's do that. Let's see how, they, how good they are with these mortars. The other thing that I do want to check is I just want to make sure that our shells... High explosive, high explosive, and this one is EMPs. Okay, those are all set up right. Okay, not, ooh, what are these? Shrapnel shells? Uh, that sounds painful. Mortar shell that is designed to explode midair and release a large number of shrapnel projectiles. These projectiles are specifically designed to cut through light armored enemies inflicting serious injuries or fatalities. Uh, let's make sure, let's get everyone inside. And schedule um, you guys all inside. Not Bell, because he won't pick up mortars. Not Asha, Rad. Okay, cool. Okay, I like that they're building up their defenses, giving us time to reload. <laughs> Um, and let's actually, let's try and blow up their shells, which they'll just like get a drop pod of more shells. But if it causes a bigger explosion, that's great. Potentially, you know, some extra damage. Okay. Not so great. They're just like overshooting drastically. Okay, they have a mortar up. They are firing a shot. Where is this shot going? Ooh, ooh. Okay, I think we have mountain. No, we don't. Okay, no fire. Okay, they abandoned construction of their other mortar. So maybe let's start targeting their mortar. Speed this up a little bit. Okay, close. Actually, a little damage on that guy. Okay, where is this one going? I lost sight of it. I don't care about the gold. Okay. There it is. Oh, okay. Okay, we downed a few of them. Okay. We're like basically exchanging mortars at the same time. Okay, where do we, do we have any mountain? We do. Let's get folks to hide under the mountain just to keep them safe for now. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to turn that off. Okay. And still not great it's like at 58 percent so we've like grazed it a couple times okay also i just realized like kiff is just like roaming around Kiff just like hide under the mountain as well because I know if we don't do that he's just gonna get smashed okay they're taking a little food break Ooh. okay so I 
think he might be using the shrapnel shell now. Yeah, he is. And it's at 30% health, so a couple more shots. Okay, what does this look like? Oh, didn't see it. Oh, there, like, could see it a little bit. Just kind of, like, explode, and then it hit this. Okay, there we go. Let's get folks into defensive positions, because they're going to come towards us now. Um, you are free to go. You're restricted inside. Kif, you are restricted inside as well. Okay, and there's some nice supplies for us. Okay, gonna stop that because that's boring. That's something you guys are here to watch. <laughs> um, okay, they are coming in. Looks like just like really just trickling in. Okay, of course, rage on him. This guy is down. Uh, Rad, why don't you, like, move in? Like, power leap behind him. Nice! Let's kill skip these guys. Oh. Not successful. Oh no, Rad's on fire. Okay, but everything else is good. They are fleeing. We will go ahead and unrestrict you guys, or undraft you guys. Um, we, will, we will do all the things. We will unrestrict you guys as well. Uh, Rad, you're free to go. Workers unforbid. And Max, we will let you guys go wherever you need to go. Cool. Raining, that'll put out the fire. We still have our crops out here. Uh, mineral scanners are up. We're going to need to transform this side of the base as well. We're running low on limestone, so we might do it out of another material. Actually, this wasn't limestone, is it? Oh, that is limestone. Um, I don't want to cut any more blocks. I've been turning blocks into permacrete, so we'll kind of like start redoing that side of the base in permacrete okay cool we got our little like decorations incoming or built and this guy doesn't have any kind of like problem causer there's no there's no like psychic droner or anything so i'm content just kind of like leaving that there for now and quest wise do we have anything we have an under farm raid um but we also, also are contact, oh, contact the rebels. That is the deserter menu. Okay, I'm like, how do we have deserter quests? Okay, so yeah, plots. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't know how to get these done. Like, we can scroll up and down, but we can't select them. They don't have any text or anything. So I'm going to play around with that. Maybe do another save, see if I can get plots working in it with, um, like, a, just the deserters mod. And then we will see if there's anything for me to fix or just something that I'm not doing here. Um, anyhow, I am, I'm going to let them recover for now. And we'll see what else we want to do besides kind of, like, planning out our base defenses um these embrasures down here are going to be meant for security you know hypertech security um bigger turrets so there are turrets that'll take like a three by three space that also means we need to find a new space for our mortars maybe we put them in this area Acklay hunting rad we can take a look at that rad's gonna beat the crap out of him um Controlled Frenzy. Yep. And 
Interesting. Okay, we will be back. Okay, we're back with another raid. Uh, I did want to point out that Cantra is in new armor. So she is, she was um, in the bio sculptor before because she's a different ideologian, requires age reversal as well as this guy, superchargers. Um, so she's in Stormtrooper specialist armor. So one thing about the like switch with the, the mods that we made um, is that the Stormtrooper patched armor like totally disappeared. So I want to set this as two for you guys. And I want one to actually be behind the doors because I think when they are behind the doors, they don't do the weird spread out beeline thing. Um, they just come straight towards us. So these guys drop potted in somewhere around here. Yeah, right here. And yeah, they're on their way. We moved a couple of our minerals, mineral scanners or mineral miners. Actually, we didn't move them. We deconstructed, reconstructed them. And we have most of them set to durasteel or plasteel. This guy's set to gold. And then we moved these guys so we could start building these walls. Uh, who are they attacking? Oh, our robot was out there hauling something. Okay, that's fine, lifter. Um, where is our robot stuff? Right here. Yeah, resurrect. Okay, that's fine. Um, we do need to take a prisoner um, so that we can scan their brain uh, so that we can build our little paramedic bot. So maybe we'll just like make this a little prison for now. Four prisoners. And we'll improve that over time. Okay, so we're shooting at Rad. They are just like coming up through the middle. Let's go ahead and like move some people in. Rad, go ahead and enrage this guy back here. Oh, you're busy doing things. What about the guy in the armor? There we go. Uh oh. And two. Okay, that's no good. Wait, do you have a rocket launcher? No, it's just tall things. We're gonna have to move our junk stockpile somewhere else. We have plenty of space in here, so maybe we move it in. But, um, maybe we have a small one for stone in here and then we move the rest of the stone out somewhere else. That way they can take cover behind it. These guys are departing. Orders, okay. Max, you guys can go back out. We will capture a couple of these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Then you are our doctor. Let's just like strip and capture. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Uh strip and capture. Come on, stop clicking dead people. There's so many live people around here. We had like a Hussar mixed in with a bunch of wasters. You're a waster. And Asha, why don't you go ahead and strip and capture this person? We do need to build that scanner. Biotech. It is the rip scanner. We'll just like stick that there for now. Eventually, I think maybe we'll move our mech stuff into one of these rooms. This room, we're going to move all this crafting stuff and all the materials for crafting into this room. Right now, we're just using it as like a random stockpile. Um, but we are getting ready to carve out um, a little forge for Asha. So we'll kind of, in the Mandalorian series, we made a pretty like epic looking forage area for her to work on the hypertech fabricator and we'll kind of build like a smaller scale version of that for her here um we're gonna mirror it on the other side with just like a little meditation room uh for rad that will throw a bunch of statues in and stuff um but yeah let me get 
organized a little bit here. I'm liking the two additional mods, the kind of like replacement that we've done. Unwavering Prisoner, that's fine. Um, we, we just want your brain, which like feels not very on theme for our playthrough, but you know, it's a game mechanic that we have to deal with. Um, yeah, I think, I think we haven't encountered any strange bugs or anything yet. We'll try and do some deserter quests tomorrow and see if we encounter any strangeness. Uh, we'll see if we can find one of those like drone requests so that we can like go take out some TIE fighters. And then, yeah, I'll try and get a little bit ahead of recording for the weekend. That way I can spend a weekend debugging or figuring out how to actually work the plots. Like, it, there might not be anything wrong with them. I just might not know what I'm doing. Anyhow, thanks for hanging out. As always, until next time, have a good one. Bye.